Ever feel like Scratch gives you a little bit too much freedom? Well, I did. So that's why in this video, I will be creating a game in Scratch that I can only use Scratch Team's tutorials. Will I be able to complete this challenge, or will I fail completely? Stick to the end to see what will happen. I started off by watching a few tutorials, just to get an idea of what I'm working with but I soon learned that this project has two major problems. The first one is that there is a very limited amount of tutorials that Scratch Team has made, so it will be very hard to make anything at all, as we don't have many building blocks to use. The second problem is that Scratch Team makes only low-level tutorials. That means that I can't make anything complex, which completely ruins everything for me. And although these two problems weren't apparent from the beginning, they almost destroyed this project later on. I continued to watch more tutorials, and even made this cool little playlist over here to keep track of the tutorials that I liked. After brainstorming for a bit, I got an idea. I was going to make a jumping game. So I guess we should just get started. There we go, I have finished watching this video. It was actually really good. I will be putting a link to it in the description if you are interested. Although there are a few bugs, I think that it's a pretty good beginner's tutorial. So basically, you need to jump over these cars in an alley, and every time that you land on the ground, you get a point. Also, is it just me, or does this cat look like a cool kid? I then started to toy around with things like the car speed and the cat's jumping height, as I felt the game was a bit too difficult. After getting all that down, I was stumped. At this point, I didn't have much to do. I felt like I couldn't add anything else. You know, the entire point of Scratch is to be creative and make things with your imagination. But with this project, I didn't do any of that. I just sat around copying other people's work. I got pretty frustrated and didn't know what to do next. Maybe I should just quit this project. Maybe I shouldn't have wasted my time, I thought. And for the next week or so, no progress was made. I just sat down and did other things, like making new videos. But the idea of making a game with only Scratch Team tutorials, tutorials was always just floating around my head. I mean, I already devoted a lot of time to this project, so why not give it another chance? I guess that means I need to start brainstorming again. So I sat down and resumed progress. And soon, I had a few ideas. Try to guess which ones I implemented. Add a scrolling background. Create a storyline. Add new art. Add a clicker game. Add more movement. Or make a mouse trail, cause that sounds cool. Okay, now that I've given you some time, let me reveal the answer. I added everything, cause I'm cool. Oh yeah, and yes, I added the clicker game. I mean, actually, not really. I only added the clicking mechanism, but the only reason I was allowed to add that was because of the clicker game tutorial, so I guess I kind of added the clicker game. Anyways, I started by making the scrolling background and the mouse trail, and nothing interesting really happened. This is the end result. Okay, the next thing on our list is making more movement. I was kind of tired of using the spacebar to jump, so after watching the arrow keys tutorial, I switched to the up arrow key. Ah, much better. Now I added left and right movement, but they felt kind of pointless. I was stumped. Just kidding, I'm not doing that again. So I came up with something to make the left and right arrow keys actually useful. If I change the amount that the player moves when the right arrow key is pressed to be extremely large, I can make it so that when the player hits the right arrow key, it goes through cars. This makes it more risky than jumping, but I will reward the player with more points. Oh yeah, and the left arrow key is used for moving the player back after it's been launched forward. I coded everything in, and look at the game now. Now comes the epic storyline. 
I followed this tutorial and ended up making a masterpiece. But I think that it'd be funny if I didn't show you, so now you have to stick around to the end of the video to see it. Okay, this next part has got to be my favorite. I added music. Just take a listen. But do you hear how bad it sounds on loop? Well, since I have such a big brain, I found a solution. I just cropped the music until it sounded right. Now comes the final part of this project. I turn this cat from a weakling into a cool kid. By the way, I have no idea what this project should be called, so give me some ideas in the comment section. Oh yeah, and there's also a link to the full game in the description if you are interested. 